Hi mga bash! It's Jen here! Welcome back to my channel! Today's video, we are going to talk about where is the best driving school in Copenhagen. I live in the city and this school that I can highly recommend to everyone. Even you are not foreigner, if you are a Dane or you are a foreigner, you are welcome to go to this school. Because this school is teaching both Danish and English, practical driving tests and the theory classes. I can highly recommend this school. It's called Go Flex Traffic. This is located in Frederick's bag. I will leave the link below. What, where is this? What's the address of the school? And then who gonna, who will you will talk to when you are there in the, in Go Flex Traffic? Well, definitely the owner of the school. One of the owner is Sean. He's very, very nice guy. He teach you the theory classes and also um, driving. But I have another teacher for my driving test. I could highly recommend you this Shahid. You really have to look for him because he's a really, really nice and very professional guy. And if you feel very nervous, you are so much nervous on the road, you definitely go to Shahid. His patience is very, very high level. And you don't feel intimidated driving with him. He teach you very well whatever, every angle of your car, every movement that you're going to make. He's the one who's always teaching you. And to be sure that you will pass, he will break for you and say, Oh, you make a mistake. You have to do this like this, like this. So he's really, really careful guy. And very very kind enough to help you out in order for you to pass your driving test so i would highly recommend this guy if you go to go flex traffic find shahid you have to say i need to go to shahid he's the only one teacher i would like to <laughs> and tell him that i recommend you my channel jen uh jen and tommy live so that's the that's the student that, uh, the former student of him that I passed for the second attempt. And um, if you're asking how much I paid for GoFlex traffic, you will definitely shock. Um, I paid uh, for the whole package of driving in GoFlex, including the theory. I paid uh, 14,000, uh, 599 Danish krona. So almost 15,000, you know, and then um, this is huge amount of money for automatic transmission. And for the manual, it's uh, 2,000 uh, minus 2,000. So that would be around 12,000 plus. It, uh, the automatic is a bit pricey than the, the manual one. I think they are doing this everywhere, not only in this school. They are also at, there, there are also other schools that they also charge more. But um, this um, GoFlex traffic, you can always uh, look in their website. What are those um, included in these packages? I know that it's included the uh, maneuvering track. Um, also, this uh, slippery track, it's also included. And you have the 16 driving lessons. So, um, yeah, after paying 14599 I paid also extra driving. So, um, how many months that I go for extra driving? Oh my God, you can't believe it. I've been uh, driving for three months. And after that, I am confident enough to go for driving test. You know what? It's very, very difficult. It's different from person to person, you know, the learnings, you can't say that, okay, why uh, it takes you so long? It's because um, you can't catch up easily or you just want to make sure that you are ready for the driving test. Your teacher will not send you to the driving test if you are not ready. And you will also feel by yourself that you are not ready. So um, I finished my theory theory classes and I um oh 
what you call them i pass i pass my theory my theory exam uh, 20th of september and afterwards since i finished my package the 16 uh, driving lessons then i started to pay for the extra driving the extra driving oh my god is cost so much money for one and a half hour you have to pay 900 krona for my teacher that is automatic transmission no i don't know about the manual but i think this is depends upon the teacher you know so it was not easy really because this is a huge money every time that you go for your driving you have to pay 900 krona so um yeah i must say that i i use a lot of money for my driving and it almost getting me like a broke lady <laughs> <laughs> no well you will definitely say that it's like a winning lot of lotto once you <laughs> once you got it i was say like wow this is big relief when you got your driver's license you don't care anymore you know and you don't think about it when uh, every time that you go for driving you're just enjoying you know and to be honest i don't count how much I paid every time that I go for driving. Because the more you count, the more you get stressed. And then you cannot concentrate anymore. And you will always think about the money. Just like my husband said, don't think about the money. We can do this. And my husband also was very, very helpful that time. He helps me also a lot and make a lot of advices. And of course, especially with financial support. He also support me a little bit but the rest i have to pay by myself which is okay because i know that i can do this and um i would like to be independent woman and um i would like to um i would like to see myself where i can go and if i really can get the driver's license if this is for me or not but i really don't think about it so you just have to enjoy every time you go for driving it's not um easy journey i must say so maybe for other people it's very easy for them those experienced driver but for me in my own experience it took me a long long time it's a very long journey it took me seven months until i get my driver's license but of course, um, I go beyond the package limit. Um, I go beyond the 16 lessons. So three months after I, um, I go for the driving test. So that was happened to me. So if something, um, if that was happened to myself, it could be yours is much, much lower. You don't need to go for three months of, um, extra driving, you know, it depends, but I will tell you, don't never never go to a driving test if you are not sure by yourself and then you have to ask also opinion from your teacher don't just say oh i finished my um my course i finished my package so i think i need to go to the driving test because it's very very expensive once you don't don't pass the driving test you have to pay 1000 krona for the gibura it's they said this um like um uh, some kind of tax that you have to pay to the government because you did not pass for the first attempt plus you have to pay uh, 1350 krona for your driving school so definitely you have to pay 3000 krona again for the second attempt if you did not pass the first attempt the first attempt i paid 2030 krona all in all in that that is included the 30 minutes um driving that is the warm-up driving that i told you in the first video and then uh, the rest are the payment for the driving school plus the, there was also a payment of 700 krona for the translator because you are in the english um driving class so you have to pay for the translator but someone said or this is not required if you can speak danish well i can speak danish but i learned the technical question in english 
So why I have to, <laughs> why I have to uh, make my head complicated? You know that I learned the English one, then I will not uh, take the um, the translator. So the translator you have to pay seven hundred krona. So every time you go for driving, if you did not pass, you have to pay seven hundred krona. So that is included in the. Um, in the payment that I told you for the first payment is 2050, including the 700 krona um, payment for your translator and the rest are payment in the school. So, um, yeah, it's pretty expensive, really. And you know how much I paid in total? Wow. That you have to listen how much I paid in total. I can't believe that I paid around... 37,799 krona. So if this will be converted in peso, in Philippine peso, it's already 200,000 pesos. And you can almost, bu you can buy a house and lot there. You can buy a big um, lot <laughs> in the province area. Or it could be a little house. So it's, <laughs> I must say, oh God. But it's really worth it. I don't have regret that I paid this kind of amount. Because I know myself that I can drive now. And I'm so happy that I passed the, the driving test for the second attempt. And guys, you have to think about the future. Don't mind. Don't think too much. Don't um, overthink. This is the problem, the ladies. They overthink too much. That's why they cannot um, drive more. And then they will just uh, feel bad about it. That, oh, I drive um, too much. And then I don't learn so much. So if you don't learn so much, so change teacher. Go to Shahid. <laughs> Shahid is the best. I must say so. And I can highly recommend this driving school um, in Copenhagen. Because people there are very nice and um, they help you through all the way for your theory classes and also your driving test. And guys, hope that this video will help you in finding uh, your new journey in driving in Denmark. And always don't forget, if someone tells no to you at this time, it means not yet. What do you believe you can achieve? Bye!